Intellectually, in your academic endeavors, please don't lose your faith. Paul in Colossians chapter 2, you will put on the screen, chapter 2 verse, verse 8 says these words. When you are challenged in academia, please don't lose your faith. I love the NIV version. You have the NIV version? The NIV, uh, you know, the New King James version is uh, interesting. Yes, it says beware. Ah, that one. That is an idea. See to it that no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy. Hollow and deceptive philosophy, which depends on human tradition and basic principles of this world rather than on Christ. So as you engage in the course of your studies here in the university, beware, see to it. New King James says, beware, Pre precaution. See to it that no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy. So you will be challenged academically, and when you are challenged academically and intellectually, don't lose your hope or your faith in Christ. Number three, you will also grow in faith. If you are committed to nurture your relationship with Christ, you will grow in faith. You will grow in faith. That I can tell you for free. It is not painful. It is free education. You are going to grow in your faith. And number four. Number four. You are going to grow in your social interaction. The people who live in the in this great nation, many of them went through this institution. There is left in that room that you're going to sleep tonight. You will ask many questions, but it is okay. There is left there. And God, by the grace of God, God lifted them up and set them high in this nation. So you are ch uh, charting your own career path in life, which is going to determine so many things. And number five, the friends that you are going to make here are going to be your lifetime friends. The friends you are making here are going to be your lifetime friends. Why do I say lifetime? You will get your voice here. <laughs> say amen. You, believe you, you will say amen when you are in court here. Number two, you will get your husband here. You think, you think it's a joke? <coughs> By the way, the chaplain, part of what the chaplain does, one of them is also officiate weddings. <laughs> <laughs> but not for students, you know? <laughs> Unless the Senate recommends that this one can no longer stay single, please have them married. We can organize for that. So you're going to have a lifetime connection of friends. People whom you will walk through this life together. People whom God will place them in strategic places across the world globally, and you will not be asking them. You will just be picking the call on and calling them because they are your buddies. You grew together through university life. This is the point where your worldview is going to change and change forever. You think you are going to be the same again? No, thank you. You are not going to be the same again. You came here to change yourself, and you will change. Both positively, if you chart your path positively, or negatively, if you decide and choose to go that path, which I pray that none of you will go that path. And so there will be a lot of issues that will come up along the way. One of the great things that I would encourage you to do at the onset is get the right friends. Number two, when you are in a when you are in a situation, don't use your fear to talk to someone. When I ask you, use your fear, Nini, use your fear to talk to someone. I can't even repeat use your fear to talk. You know, I'm not going to Chilombo. 
instead of uh, on five. <laughs> at the graduation square, going to Chilomo. What's the that Chita Sako? Talk to somebody, say, I'm in a situation. Can you, can you give me guidance? And somebody here is not everybody. It's the people who have been entrusted the responsibility of leadership. The reason why the team that is doing orientation have t-shirts on are to remind you that I am marked out so you can trust me to guide you. There will be many people who will be saying, I, by the way, it's a Kwanesha man. Now, go book up and you are in Nairobi. You always know that. That happened in Nairobi. When you are in a situation, seek help. And help from people who are trusted, whom you know they can guide you, so that you can be given the right instructions and guidance. You see, could she does not come talk to somebody. <coughs> Solutions are there. There is no problem that is too big. There is no problem that is too big. And I want to the of your view. You know, there is a place here called Klabu. That is a city within the city. <laughs> this is another Nairobi in itself. Kuna wana kutu wa university, wako wama kodelea Klabu. Mwana nesikia hama nerudia kwa kikiri. Kuna wana kutu wa university, wako wama kodelea. Hapa Klabu. Kwenye mwana nudua smocha. Hapa. So take care of yourself. Above all, may the Lord lead you as you begin this great journey. This will be a joyful moment of growth and a great experience for you to experience growth in every aspect of your life. In case of any challenge, the chaplaincy is always open. But even before you get to the chaplaincy, the leadership of Christian Union are excellent guys who give right guidance when you are in a situation. Don't be a topic to any of them. And remember, this is home away from home. You see again in Hapa. So long as you have joined the Christian Union, you are no longer again joined in. If you have been involved in leadership position in your youth ministries at home, if you have been part of the praise and worship, Talk to somebody that I've been part of praise and worship. Can I join the team? This is your home for the next four years, for those who will be doing four years, for the next five years, for those doing five years, for the next six years, for those doing six years. This is your home. Are we together? Any question? Now I'm free to receive questions now before I stop. There's freedom of speech. Ask and uh, I will respond. Asante sana, mungu wa wabariki, na watete nema, muna kwenelea, muna kwanza discreet safari ya masomo. Na mungu buke, hii ni Nairobi. If you should forget anything, don't forget Colossians chapter 2 verse 8, and always remind yourself, this is Nairobi. Don't accept to be misled. Keep yourself on check. Keep your head at all situations. Protect yourself, protect those around you. Because we don't want to get into situations. Part of the things that the chaplain does, which are always painful, we don't want to mention, is marry people when they pass on. And I have done not one, not two, not three, four. People who died because of relationships gone sour. When challenges of relationship come, please don't keep yourself. And I'll give you a time more to kill up. It's a good way you are doing it, you can't find a good way yet. Now, you are here in Nairobi. When challenges come, please don't take your life. Navigate. We cannot stop the other issues that come from, you know, the natural causes of life. 
situations of like we have a student who passed on yesterday and I'll be doing the funeral tomorrow. But that was not a situation that she put herself in. It was just a situation beyond. But situations that we can control, please let us control. Please let us control. Ladies, I've, been, I've lived on planet Earth long enough now to tell you something. Always when we receive the past years, it's always a joyful moment. By the time they're in second years, we have enough pregnancies. Please be careful. In Wabi, Thank you so much. God bless you.